Why do you want to work out? What is your goal? The most important thing is that you have a vision, that you have a goal. You know, the masters make the hardest things in the world look easiest. And in the moments where you push yourself, when no one else is around, those moments have a tendency to lead to success. Like, our most powerful and most important is when we just embrace who we are. It's just believing in yourself and, right. and embracing who you were born to be. You need that motivation and then therefore you have this kind of imprint in front of you all the time and you know exactly what you're chasing. Suck it up, motherfucker, because it's still your motherfucking set. All right. I got you. You got me? <laughs> <laughs> what time is it there? 3.57 p.m. Cool. So you're like halfway around the world then. Yeah, right now I'm in a small farming village. So I'm out of the uh, party zone. There will be no hot Asian figures walking in the background this time. Instead, there's a statue of uh, Mary and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, babe, can you close this door for me? All right. Hold on just a second. Let me get this. Ah. <laughs> you want to say hi? We're wrapping presents for uh, Christmas, so that's why we're up this late. But um, all, right. all right, so to what everybody wants to hear about, what the hell happened? The YouTube channel got taken down, deleted, all in one fell swoop with virtually no warning. Uh, just woke up one morning and poof, YouTube enhanced athletes gone. Now, I did have a, a Dr. Tony Hughes channel that, that I had started that, that only has 5,000 subscribers. Uh, but that was for like lifestyle, advice, business, not really fitness related. Um, so I did start uploading some of the fitness videos to there, but none of the hardcore stuff. YouTube won't, won't have uh, hardcore bodybuilding stuff, at least the limit that I was pushing. So you had mentioned that um, this is going to free you up to do some new interesting things can you elaborate yeah, a little because bit i was getting really comfortable with youtube over a hundred thousand subscribers and it's growing fast and, and a lot of views a huge amount of view time like yeah. if you look at the analytics how much people were watching everybody watched every entire video so they didn't, they didn't cut out so incredible view time incredible ranking you know search rank top for every search term i did a video on um all gone but in the end, a good thing, because I was really limited by what I could do on YouTube. I already only uploaded like 75% of the videos I wanted to upload. And lots of my videos in the past have gotten deleted. Videos about DNP, about SARMs, anything hardcore um, outside the norm was, is, you know, suspect to YouTube. Because yeah. YouTube thinks it could be dangerous do you have any idea what Whether took it dangerous. over the top like what was was there a was there a pivot point for them there was a couple yeah i don't you know what they hit every video at once and so i don't know what does it sound like more like an attack i'll say in the past videos i've had deleted were i've had an adderall video deleted even though i was talking about my doctor recommended protocol just because it was about Adderall at all. I had DMP videos deleted just because it's about DMP, even though I was speaking the truth. And I've had SARMs videos deleted when I was talking about like the fact that higher dosages of SARMs are just as powerful as steroids. It's just that nobody runs higher dosages, and that's why um, they think steroids are stronger. Because so you know stuff like that. That's what was getting deleted before. But because those got deleted, oh, and I've had videos uh, of girls that, that YouTube thought were not closed enough. Like if their clothes was too sexy. Damn. And they would say it was. I hate uh, it when I miss the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the good ones get deleted. <laughs> so I was living comfortably within uh, YouTube and their restrictions. And if it weren't for the channel getting deleted now, less like two and a half days ago, then I would never have looked outside of YouTube to how can I actually get the really hardcore content that I want to get out there. So now I decided I'm going to start a private server, like a competitor to YouTube, where I can put anything up I want, anybody else can put anything they want, and uh, without censorship. 
so it's kind of now. Is it kind of like you porn? <laughs> Kid. <laughs> but, yeah, that domain's already taken. Yeah. Dang. Um, but um, some of the things that you are you going more into, let's say, the healthcare realm, or are you going more into the um, we're going to turn people into absolute freaks? Um, are you going like hardcore bodybuilding, massive, or both? It's both because when I travel like I do, I go to all these different countries, I have, because of the status that I've reached in the hardcore community and underground community, I have these people reaching out to me. So I have hardcore bodybuilding gurus reaching out to me and suppliers. And then I also have like the anti-aging people reaching out to me. Like uh, the guy did the, the stem cells on me. And then a glutathion, a glutathione flush. And then a vitamin B17 cancer IV. So I had all these procedures done while I was here in the Philippines and all over the places. But what's amazing is like none of this stuff is available in America. Oh no! Super censored in America. Or has already one, been banned. One, like one, I, yeah, one point I really have to make about the censorship in America is you hear all the negative about all of the cures that actually cure diseases, and you don't hear the positive. Uh, let's take DMP as an example because I know that's the most inflammatory thing people love to hate on. But if you look at how many videos are on on YouTube, uh, nine. 95% of the videos are negative about it. Where's all the positive videos? They get deleted. YouTube will delete videos if you talk positive about it. It's like trend. Well, then what, you, yeah, then what you have is a skewed truth because how many people actually use DNP? And then how, and also how much more likely is someone to make a video about something they want to rant about and hate more than what they, what they love? Oh, if yeah. You have, if you have, let's say, I know for a fact that at least... Uh, at least 30,000 people use DNP in the last 12 months. And, and of those people, how many people died? You know, one. You know, one that's died. One person out of 30,000 that's died. And yet, that's the news story you hear? You don't hear about the other 29, you know, 99% well, of people. That's the same thing. With it? Same thing with DMAA. Same thing with just about, if they say it's bad, then it's probably great. Um, unfortunately, that's the world we live in, though. If you're going to walk a line, they're going to demonize. And that's where I'm at, man. You know, I've lost so many credit card processors and everything else. It's insane. So I can only imagine what you go through. Um, oh, it's, it's war every day. <laughs> I can imagine, like, and um, my but hat's off to you. It's worth fighting because I'm, I'm being the change that I want to see in the world. My, my belief is in freedom and responsibility. People having the knowledge to make their own decisions and then taking responsibility, good or bad, for those decisions. Oh, once you make a decision, you got to take responsibility. <laughs> um, well, that's not, that's not the American way. It is the true. Well, isn't it the lawyers that kind of did that to us? Isn't it kind of the lawyers that kind of did the little nanny state thing to us? <laughs> Getting reparations yeah, for for putting them out of business, making making it where their store can't sell their products, so they want reparations, like using Lanham Act and things of that nature? <laughs> Been a lawyer. One of the hardest things for me to see is that a lot of lawyers are really like terrible there's, people. Like there's really a lot of them like him. I, I, there's a lot of them like him. Oh God! How do you do? This is the first one I've ran into, and I don't care to ever see another one. Like this is ridiculous. Yeah. But anyway, um, speaking of that, does that have any bearing on you now since you're away? You mean in which way? Well, I mean, he can't really, he can't prosecute or do anything to you, I guess. I mean, they're not going to extradite you, know you from the Philippines, are they? Well, I think they're overestimating me because here I am in a village in the Philippines. I make videos and I research <laughs> on my phone and I meet with people around here. So for someone to try to pull me into the USA... 
and subjecting everything going on there with like, I am so far past and beyond and outside of the scope of what they're even like. I, like that's what I'm saying. What are you talking about? Like this lawyer you talk about that filed a restraining order against me and says I'm trying to kill him, I literally don't know what he looks like. I can't <laughs> tell you what nationality he is. I've never seen him. I've never heard his voice. All I've heard is you know people that hate him who have reached out to me and tell me terrible things about him. But it's not even I, visually. I don't even know who it is. Um, I mean, honestly, I have. Uh, I think he's got like four names. <laughs> But anyway, what I'm saying is he can't really carry his case forward if his case is against you because you're not there. So what does he do now? Just well, I think he's suing everything and every research chemical company. Oh, yeah, I know. He's suing me too. To, well, the mission is to make money, really. But <laughs> no doubt. Garner, garner support by making research chemicals out to be a bad thing and taking people's rights to use them away. But let's be real. You are the face of Enhanced Athlete. So he would be wanting to make an example out of you, and that's kind of impossible. So you kind of screwed his game up. <laughs> Just saying. Like, kind of well, throw him off kilter yeah, there. Yeah. And actually, for that situation, from what I understand, his argument is that he has to be the police of the world supplement industry because the FDA isn't doing their job. Well, enhanced athletes been graded in three countries. So I feel pretty sure the FDA is doing their job. Yeah, that's uh and considering that you came out pretty decent on that, he should have no case, all right? Right. Because the FDA did their job. So now he can go away. I think the I think the only reason he's pursuing it now is because if he doesn't pursue it, it looks like a perfect case for malicious, malicious prosecution for having filed a meritless lawsuit. So well, what choice does he have but to see it through to the end? I mean, that's what it is, but we wouldn't want to, you know, go further on that. It might get me in trouble. Anyway, um, <laughs> aw. Hey. <laughs> it's all the little Filipino kids, including my daughter. Yeah. And so we took a bunch of toys to um, some kids today over here in Alabama. So, all right, is there a way that people can get in contact or can find your new channel? Or when will we be seeing the new channel? So there's some content up on the Dr. Tony Huge uh, YouTube channel. And then also on uh, Instagram, Enhanced Athlete, Facebook, Enhanced Athlete, and the Snapchat and the, with the Snapchat story and the Insta story, I'm updating people constantly, like six times a day, where I am, what I'm doing, what the status of everything is. I'll see if I can't get someone smarter than me to link those to one of these videos. <laughs> that way, um, make it a little easier to um, get a hold of you. And I was just looking at my timer there. We have 47 minutes left if we wanted. I was just making sure we could <laughs> make sure it was still going. Um, because obviously last time I didn't have a very good time. I just uploaded it right after it uh, finished and there was no sound, which was frustrating, to say the least. Um, so is there anything that you would tell? I mean, you had like a hundred thousand. Do you not feel like raped? Like you spent like two years building something and someone yeah, took it away from loss. you. It's, it is a huge loss, but... It's similar to what happened to me um, in the United States, having the perfect life. I, in the U.S., I'd have the perfect life, but it was comfortable. I didn't actually have freedom, right? You got the house, the cars, the business, the fame, uh, the reputation, uh, the law firm that was worth millions of dollars. I have all these things, and I just walk away from all of that to travel the world because – the feeling of freedom to me is more important than having all those material things. Well, YouTube was kind of like that because here I had I had this incredible asset on YouTube, probably worth millions of dollars, and yet because I had that asset, I was stuck in the comfort of it. And it, it's now that I don't have it anymore that I'm forced to go at, out and find what I truly want, which is freedom. What I've always wanted is freedom, and now I have the freedom because I never would have thought of creating my own server that I can host any videos that I want and now I'm going to do that well they say you know strength is built through resistance right 
you must be a strong motherfucker. <laughs> well, this isn't the first time. I've been at war ever since I first started as a lawyer. So that's nine years nine years of war in the courtroom. And so there's not really much else I could go through absent physical torture in a detainment camp. Well, no, you do that to wrong. yourself in the gym. <laughs> that's right. I'm trying to torture myself to build, to build muscle. I look cool. That's uh, that's one of the things that I teach my children is, you know, they're, the only way that you get stronger is by resistance. You have to have an opposition in order for there to be a need because we don't do things. We generally, as human beings, do not change just because we want to. There has to be a have to and there has to be some type of pain, physical resistance. So Right. And how I handle this situation is a really good lesson for people who uh, are new to the business world and want to be successful, which is that every obstacle you overcome makes you even stronger and more able to overcome more obstacles. And success is not obtained without obstacles. Oh, no. So, <laughs> That's the, the bigger the success, the bigger the problem will be. Yeah, you lose, you lose anything. You lose your leg. You lose your arm, whatever. You lose your your license, or your professional license, anything you lose, if you're a successful person and you're destined for success, every bad thing that happens to you will only make you stronger. Think of it like the Hulk. You know, the Hulk, the superhero character, is the more that you do to him, the more you shoot him, the more you punch him, the stronger, the bigger he gets. Yeah. That's a successful person. Uh, so that, um, well, there's a couple of quotes about success that basically there's no successful person out there that I've ever read about or studied that did not have an opposition. Like Walt Disney was fired for a lack of ideas and you know, Albert Einstein, there was a hundred against Albert Einstein. The guy that came out with germ, the theory of germs, they put him in a mental institution and pretty much had him killed. Um, Cause he said that there were germs. They said, you believe in spooks, which were ghosts. And they put him in a mental institute. So if you have, yeah. if you're going to be great, there's going to be great opposition. Yeah, the other quote that goes along with what you said is, is the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones that do. Yeah, that's uh, the ones who keep going even when everybody says, you have lost your mind. Um, I forget the story of the guy about uh, radio waves, and they were like, he's went insane. And he's like, no, I'm serious. They're there. So um, it's uh, every revolutionary idea. There's going to be an opposition. And one of the things that if you get into like the cancer cures and things of that nature, those people don't like to be opposed at all. Um, the guy who recommended they wash their hands was almost killed as doctors because they would walk around with the more blood they had on them, the more prestigious the doctor. <laughs> they, um, they took away his medical license for saying that they needed to wash their hands. There's a long story behind that. So, um, yeah, they have a long history of suppressing people who want to change the way they do things. They're really set in their ways. Of course, if I had a billion dollar industry yeah, behind me, I've set my ways too. <laughs> right. That's something to protect. Well, you and I, serve a very important purpose because not a lot of people who understand the truth about how things work are willing to put their neck and their face out there and tell the truth. So thank you for what you do also because before I even started my channel, I think, or at the beginning, I was watching your videos and I found them very inspirational. I found, I felt like I had a friend in the world because I, there's so few of us that think like this. It was so nice to hear someone that was saying things that resonated with my values and belief system. I think, I think there's a lot of us that think like this. There's just very few of us who are willing to say it in a public forum. Um, because I hear people all the time tell me, they go, oh my gosh, thank you. Like, I've always known that or I've always felt that. And you just expressed it in a way that I understand. And the thing is, is we know there's a better way as far as the medical profession is concerned. You treat the same disease the same way you did 60 years ago and you die the same way that your parents did. There's obviously a problem here. If I didn't do my job for 60 years, name one cure they've had in the last 60 years. 
if I didn't do my job for 60 years, somebody would fire my ass. Right. The thing is, is if you start to yeah. cure a disease, they're going to suppress you. They're going to drive away cures because treating a symptom is a whole lot more profitable. Sell a lot more drugs that way. Right. Do you know the United States consumes more drugs than the next five industrialized nations combined? Mm-hmm. We, India has the most disease. <laughs> yeah, we are doped up, and I think we're number 10 in longevity. So, with things like you know, that. Yeah, actually, so when, when, when you said that real quick, I was thinking, you know, we're doped up, we use so much drugs, like it's a bad thing. But then I was thinking, you and I, uh, I was going to say promote, but I'll say educate people about using research chemicals and alternative things. or you know, For enhancement. Of those things. For, for yeah, enhancement. That is different. Yeah. That is different. In the United States, people are using drugs just to bring them up to a baseline. They're well, not using them to actually get enhanced. And what you and I are doing are pioneering the enhancement using the drug. We're taking people to become superhuman, yeah. teaching people how they can do their own research to find out how what human could potentially someday become superhuman. It's much, <laughs> it's much easier to do certain things and use certain things to prevent disease from happening than it is once you get it developed, oh, now, now we got problems. And then, for instance, let's say someone ha- develops cancer. You have two different methods to go about this. You can cleanse the body and help to d- get your immune system functioning properly, or you can use chemotherapy and play Russian roulette and say, all right, we're going to take this toxin and hope it kills the cancer before it kills the patient. T- to me, the first is the way to go. And there's a proper way to do everything, and then there's an improper way. Using drugs the proper way for recreation or to recreate something in you is cool. To use drugs as a means to get by so you numb yourself to the pain while you keep getting worse is not the right way. And it's just that education that's going to make the difference. And that's I think that's what we are doing is... Enlightening people about the negatives that have happened. When you admit you kill 210,000 Americans a year, according to the Journal of the American Medical Association, and nobody says a word? That's Auschwitz. And nobody's talking about it. That's not okay. And at some point, we have to step up and go, wait a minute. Can somebody find a way to stop that part because that's with drugs and unnecessary surgeries that they admit they do that. Why can't we fix that? And I think we can, and I think we have a way to do it and a way to save the United States economy. If we're talking about research chemicals, it's just, will they allow it or are they going to suppress us? Yeah. And you know, we could, you and I and the other people who know about these cures, and experimented on ourselves, could keep this information to ourselves. We could not share it. In fact, I, I go back to the DNP. Uh, now that the entire U.S. government, world governments are cracking down on DNP, which is not an illegal drug, but they'll find ways, they'll find loopholes and ways to take it away from everybody. Uh, it's because I publicized it that they took it away. So now I'm afraid, now I've had this P17 injection, which supposedly kills cancer, and I'm researching that, but I'm taking it on good word from absolutely brilliant minds who have escaped the U.S. with this knowledge. I've taken it orally. Is a potential cure. So, so then I, 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 I learn about things like this constantly, every day, and I have to ask myself every time, do I, do I tell the world about this secret, or do I keep it to myself so the government will never try to take it away from me because it's not popular? And for me, it's not about me. And for you, it's not about you. No. For, for us, it's about it's about the greater good. It's about the movement, about giving people the knowledge that hopefully someday they stand up to their government and say, oh, wait a second, I've used this drug, I've used this drug, I didn't have those side effects, it cured my disease, and enough people come out and finally get the balls and say, hey, this cured me, this isn't what you guys are trying to make it out to be, and we demand that things not become illegal for no reason. Or furthermore, if someone hears it and they use it and it works, 
and some little kid's got his daddy or his mama, I'm cool with that. That's enough. At the end of this, I get to go see my maker, and um, I want to tell daddy a story, at least have something to tell him. It won't be I sat on the couch. I assure you that. So, we're all going to die at some point. I just want a good story to tell. <laughs> but, um, nonetheless, it is about 3 o'clock in the morning here. I'm going to get me some night-night and help my wife with these presents before she kicks me out of my house. <laughs> All right. So is there anything else that, that we need to know? You're going to keep me updated as this channel progresses, correct? Yeah, I'll keep you updated. Sweet. And uh, there's a lot of videos that I, upload in the future that I couldn't upload. And those will finally become available when I get them. The ones with the, with the chicks, right? Yeah, plenty of Yeah, cool. <laughs> I appreciate you. Perfect. All right, Seth, be well informed, my friend, the freedom pioneer human evolution.